Hello everyone. People tell me that I look like my mother. You may have also heard people saying you look like your mother or you look like your father. So, the question should be why do you look different from your father or mother? We already know that through the reproduction process the organisms produce new organism of similar body design and the chromosomes that you get from your father and mother decide all your features or traits. This passing on of physical and mental characteristic genetically from one generation to another is called heredity. Now if you get all the features from your father and mother then why do people often have features or characteristics which their parents don't have? Like a son often becomes much taller than his parents. A daughter may look very different from her parents. Or a son may get color blindness though neither of his parents have this condition. So why and how these features or variations occur? We have 46 chromosomes that is 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell and we use the word pair because for each trait there are two versions that is two DNA material one from each parent that is father and mother. Let's consider the trait height say your father is tall and your mother is short. So, you get two DNA materials which pair up. Now, will you be short or tall? Gregor Johann Mendel carried out his studies on pea plants for generations to understand how a trait is passed down to generations. Mendel used a number of contrasting visible characteristics of garden pea such as round or wrinkled seeds, tall or short plants, white or violet flowers and so on. He took pea plants with different characteristics like a tall and a short plant and produced offspring or progeny. In first generation that is F1 progeny there wasn't any halfway characteristics that is all were tall. Then where did the short height trait go? Did it get lost? As he carried out with future generations of pea plants, he found that no trait was lost. Out of the two different opposite variation of the same trait such as height, tall or short, one expressed itself and suppressed the other gene. In case of pea plant, the second generation or F2 progeny which is the progeny of F1 tall plants not all plants were tall instead one fourth of them were short. This showed that both the tallness and shortness traits were inherited in the F1 plants but only the tallness trait was expressed and hence all the pea plants were tall in the F1 generation. So we see two copies of each trait are inherited in each sexually reproducing organism but not every gene expresses itself. So how does it work? We will go deeper in the next lesson. Until then, bye bye.